Developing at this hour, a carjacking suspect is shot with his own gun. Police say his target, a 69-year-old man, turned the tables on the would-be robber. Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Bayetto is at police headquarters with more on how all of this went down. Marcella? You see, a trip to the grocery store ended in an attempted carjacking earlier today in broad daylight, and it's leaving some neighbors uneasy about their own safety. A small gun left on the driver's seat and bagged groceries, remnants left over from a Wednesday attempted carjacking in East Mount Airy. I lived here for 22 years. We never had any kind of problem like this. At around 11.30 a.m., a 69-year-old man was unloading his groceries from his car when a 24-year-old man pointed a gun at him and yelled, this is a robbery. The two started fighting and the gunman bit the man's hand. The 69-year-old took control of the gun and shot the gunman, leaving the 24-year-old with a grazed wound on his stomach. He then runs from the scene uh, with the assistance of neighbors who called 911. Cops get there rather quickly. They get the offender in his 1,000 block of Gorgas Lane. He's positively identified and is facing charges for robbery, carjacking, and other related offenses. Now, the gunman is in stable condition at Albert Einstein Medical Center. Police say they expect to complete charges against him soon. In this situation, it turned out to be a good thing where he was able to wrestle the gun, injure the defendant, and bring him into custody. But we don't recommend that. Neighbors are still uneasy. Very scary because it's across the driveway here, so now I have to be. On the watch, even hard, uh, even closer now when I come outside and be on the watch out for my neighbors as well. According to police, this marks the 891st uh, carjacking in the city of Philadelphia. Now that also includes attempted carjackings as well. So far for the year of 2022, when you compare that to last year, that was just at 854. Reporting live outside of the. Police headquarters tonight. I'm Marcel Vallejo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Marcel, thank you. Also, 